Hello everyone, welcome to another Creative Crafts Nature video. Today I'm sharing with you how to download an image, put it on pages, resize it, crop it, print it out so that you can be able to color them in and use them for your craft projects. So this is a video response also to Hearts1217. She asked the question on how to resize an image that she downloaded so that she can be able to print them out. She wanted to size them up smaller. So basically, I went to this site here. It's called www.easter-coloring.com and then I went in the website and I got this got here to this location where we have this cute little bunny and um, it does not um, it allows you to save image to downloads right so you can do that save the image to your downloads let's see okay so here we have the image and when we click on that it's going to open up with the um, image preview right so if you notice here it has this little word here and we want to keep in mind that when we're resizing this we just want to resize the bunny to the exact size we want we don't want to take this whole image and resize this whole image we just want that bunny to come out the size that we want him to be right so basically we're gonna highlight him right and it doesn't matter how you begin because you can always just go like that and then bring it over bring it up and bring it to the side right so then once you do that you can right click on it no actually it's not letting you you can go to edit and then click on copy right so let me close these out this was that I saved it as a PDF so um, I'm gonna show you how to save it as a PDF and work with it that way see I was doing that originally here let me do a new one so that I can leave that already open alright so you go ahead and you come here and you open up your pages double click on that all right and then you it's this is good this is what's gonna open once you click on pages the screen is gonna open and then you just click on blank and then you click on choose right you're gonna get a blank image then you're gonna right click on an empty space and click paste so here we have our cute little bunny that we have pasted to our work here right so what we're going to do now we're going to go here to inspector where in the inspector it allows us to show or hide the inspector so when you click on it, it it'll pop up this is the inspector and when you click on it again it'll disappear so we want it on we want it viewable the bunny is selected and then we're going to select this ruler here so he is 9 inches tall and 5.47 inches wide so let's say I want to size him up to 3 inches all I have to do is hit enter the 3 here hit the enter key so I have him 3 inches tall and 1.8 in, inches wide now you want to make sure that this is checked off constrained proportions because if it's not let's say I'm going to put this to be 9 again. You see how it what it does to your image? So make sure that they are they you have this selected like that. Okay? All right. Um <clears throat> down let's do it the other way around. Let's say that you don't have an image preview and you want to download it like this so we're gonna go back to the website we're gonna go print and then we're gonna go right here and then where it says PDF and then we're gonna go to save as PDF and then we're gonna name that whatever we want it remember that I usually change the name here and here 
So I already saved that onto my desktop. And I what I did was um, Mac is very simple to, to use. Like you don't literally have to open it up. This is the image right here. I can just let me delete this one that I have here. I can just grab this and put him in there and that's it. The image that I have there goes there. Now the size that you do this will will reflect on this extra piece right here that you have nothing going on. So you will you will not have this bunny to be the exact size you want it to be because of this. Um so in order for you to get this out and bring it to be somewhat like what I did here let me make him smaller okay so to get him to be like this where his proportion all around let me Okay, so I'm giving him a lining all around. So I can give him a dotted line. I can give him that effect. Let's see with this. Oh, I can give him that effect. You know, but if I wanted to do that, of course, I can actually make the thickness of that smaller so that my image can show up or I cannot crop it so close to the image so that I can be able to give it a nice background so for right now this is uh, my video on how to do how to you know make your images smaller so that you can print them um, let's say I wanted to print, it, print this oval because I want to be able to cut it out. Yeah. I wanted to be able to cut it out, but like have a guide already. So what I'll do is I'll go here to shapes, and then I'll click on the shape that I want. This shape is selected, so I'm gonna go here. And I'm gonna go to fill and I'm gonna go none. But I'm gonna have the line stay there. Okay? Alright. Hold on. acting up now okay here we go Okay, so make sure that your background objects are selectable so that I can be able to select him and move him around to where I want him. And if you notice those blue lines coming up, that's to help show you that that's the center of the page. So now, again, I'm going to come back in here with my little circle here. I'm going to go back to right here to graphics and I'm going to go to no fill. And then I'm going to size this up to be let's say what was this this is 4.5 I'm gonna oh crap hold on okay mm. All right, so 
I'm going to size this up to be um, five, let's say, just for the sake of, you know, getting it to, to show you what I want to do. So actually, let me do the width to be a three, let's say, for now. And let's see. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and move the, my bunny here. And so basically, it, you know, it helps you show... how big you can make it. So I'm actually going to have to make this one. I'm going to make him smaller. Let's see if he's going to fit. Yeah, he'll fit. All right, so then I'm going to go back to no fill. And then I'm gonna, it's going to center him right in the middle there. So basically, you can go ahead and print this out. And it will show up there. Now, I do not know why my little square here. Okay. Okay, sorry. Okay, there we go. All right, now there's also the positioner here. So let's say I want to position this at a certain spot. I want to position it at 0.5 and 0.5 because I want to be able to center him and then I want to be able to copy. So I'm gonna say, let me see, edit. So I hit uh, while holding the control, I selected both. I'm gonna go to copy, edit copy, and then paste. So I'm gonna go ahead while holding the control button. Oh no, sorry. While holding the control button, I'm just going to go ahead and move it over with my, with my arrow. I know there's an easier way of doing this, but because of the purpose, actually, let me see. Let me position this at 3.5, no, 4, okay, 4, and then 0.5. Okay, and then he is going to have to be repositioned. There we go. So now, if I were to print, file, and print, here I have two on my paper. And I, I believe I can go ahead and fit another two there. So basically, that's it. I hope you understood this video. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And if any questions, any comments, let me know. I'll be happy to answer your questions. Thank you so much for watching. Bye now. Don't forget to write.